lingering patiently in a bush, prepared to start an ambush, slithering around, tail swaying from side to side, coiled tightly, ready to strike, teeth as sharp as a spike, stalking his prey, waiting for lunch to come his way. Snap! <laughs> <laughs> Biting its neck, constricting its frame, with only itself to blame. Slam. Logan reaches for the book in tears. He has not read it in his years. Jacob winds his fist fire all day, and Kyle just wants to go and play. Cole is learning how to spell his name, while Trent is trying to stay sane. Katie squares up on stage. Josh is reveling in his fame. Katie feels like she is to blame, because Josh is winning at this game. Mrs. Thomas tries to settle everyone down, while Jamal continues to clown around. <laughs> Jack Norton's hairline is only six inches tall. And goodbye, class. This poem is 14 lines small. Katie is no different than committing a crime. It's no better than stealing pennies and dimes. Taking and using somebody else's thought to fill the time you wasted and they bought. It proves you cannot succeed with enough, without another's knowledge to take the lead. You, it will do nothing for you in the long run except make you relearn what others have bought. It will drag you behind as others advance, all because you looked at someone's paper glance by glance. It won't bring you up, it will pull you down, and when you get caught, you will look like a clown. Hopefully soon, everyone will realize and know that cheating will never be the right way to go. Slam. The gallant knight rides across the bridge, heading toward the dragon's cave underneath the castle keep. I shall slay this dragon, the knight said, while the dragon unrailed its head and its shining scales shone in the morning sun. It blew a plume of fire into the air. The knight raced up the hill toward the dragon, while the dragon rumbled and waited, and the castle waited anxiously for news the dragon was dead. Um, the knight swung at the dragon's neck while the dragon took to the air. Come back down, you find. I shall slay you and have your head. <laughs> um, I forgot. The dragon flew away and was never seen again. <laughs> it's like a roller coaster there, ups and downs. Sometimes you feel your stomach drop, but then your hands are in the air. Occasionally feel a little scared, but you know the risk is worth it, and go along with the crowd, waving as you go by. So there are good moments and bad ones in between, but you know in the end you'll get an ice cream. And just like a roller coaster, life is over before you know it, so go on as ready rides as you can, and don't live life as though it's planned. Slam! Birds and sail at first light. They plan to sail into the night. The gold they set to find is growing deep into their mind. The waters are growing rough, but the pirates are very tough. The night is very cold, but at last they see their goal. Deep down at the ocean shore, the pirates search for more. They bring the gold back up and drink from a golden cup. Now their journey's over, hopefully they can find another lucky clover. The pirates arrive back home and soon plan to travel to Rome. The trip has done them good, hopefully they don't end up in the hood. The trip has been very fun, but now it's time to run. Slam. Be inspired is great, and to inspire is incredible. But right now, I'm not inspired, and it's completely unbearable. I never thought it would be this hard to just write down a few sentences, but I'm still learning to be inspired, like these couple instances. The, poem, the inspiration for this poem came from nowhere, out of the blue, like I'd known it all along. Maybe that's the way this poem thing really works. I just have to write it strong. If there's one thing I learned from this poem escapade, with life's lemons, make lemonade. <laughs> Slam. The Dukes is on his knees in pain. He is sick and tired of this game. He reaches back and nervously strokes his mane. He knows it is no longer his domain. He needs to regain his composure to limit needless exposure to this terrible chemical, unholy festival that is no longer conventional. All of the things that were unintentional. He feels so much guilt for what he thought was fun, but he can't apologize to anyone. He knows that he can't outrun all of the things that he has done. Slap. And mist around our humble ship, we look up at the clear open sky and set off on our marvelous trip. Okay, we sail out to the open ocean, only waves dare disturb our boat. Not rain or storm or any commotion, all we can do is wait and float. We wait and watch, but to no avail. We wait for what feels like hours on end. All I want is to see a whale. And after a long day, the sun starts to descend. As we leave, a whale jumps into a graceful dive. The whale watching paid off, and I feel alive. Slam. Walking down the empty road, I can see a light green toad. 
Hopping over cobblestones, he's looking for the world's unknowns. Crumbs fall from a high up table as children beg for an old fable. The toe jumps over an old cork screw, maybe he can listen too. The air is getting slightly colder and so the fire begins to smolder. The toad avoids the light blue flames as children try and print their names. The snow begins to melt and under the bed the toad still dwelt, for nothing could stop his undying love from the family's crumbs from up above. Walking down the muddy road, I can see a happy toad. He's hopping over cobblestones. He's looking for the world's unknowns. At least he seems to think so. <laughs> Slam. You are like the sun, bright and daring. You try to hold back, but you're always there and caring. Nothing can hold you back, no matter how hard they try. Even when I can't see you, I still know you're standing by. You're the light to my day and the dark to my night, the tree to my leaves and the bird to my flight. You're the only thing that matters to me. If only I could make you see. I wish we could be together and free, but I guess that's not how it was meant to be. Everyone loves the things you do. If only you would notice me too. You are perfect the way you are, for you are my shining star. Slam. Our poem is called Books. Um, a land of wild dreamings, a fountain of wild thoughts, poured out upon the pages, should you go and find them. Words like ink just before you, just seemingly for you to see. Um, fantasies that you can hold forever, should you go and find them. Rivers, mountains, woods, beaches, take one step and there you are in the fantasies that can hold you forever, should you go and find them. <laughs> Slam. Okay, sitting up into space, counting sheep in my head, slowly closing my eyes. As I drift off into Neverland, my childhood storybooks come alive. I dream of fairy tales and princesses, and being the queen of my royal kingdom. I imagine growing up, I imagine myself growing up and walking down the aisle on my special day. I envision holding my children's hands, playing on the swing set wishing time would stop. As I close my eyes, I dream of dreams coming true. Slam. This poem is called Birds. In my mind, I am a bird, flying free for days on end. Not weighted down by the problems outside of my thoughts, I leave them behind. Once I have to leave my mind, I find it sad that I can't fly. For in the real world, I am not free. Slam. Why do scary stories start with on a dark and stormy night? Why can't it be a sunny day? Cause dark shouldn't give a fright. There's much more that night can offer than a reason to go high. Owls hooting and sparkling stars, so we're scared to go outside. Maybe you hear eerie noises or see figures on the ground. But that's just your mind playing games so it can make your heart pound. Once you're brave enough to look down the hall, you'll see that the dark isn't scary at all. Slam. Sometimes it's neglected. Sometimes nobody wants it. Sometimes all we want is flavor. But sometimes we work hard. Sometimes we sweat. Sometimes we get tired. Then all we want is flavor. Our arms are weak, chest huffing and puffing. We are tired, then all we want is water. Pushed out of our comfort zone, coach yelling and screaming. We are tired, then all we want is water. Slam. We across a majestic bridge and tree a grand city that stretches for miles and miles. Looking up at the towering skyscrapers that block the sun above, crowds of people turn to greet you as, a, as the sound of music seems to invite you. You take an elevator to the top of the world where you look out and feel so grand until it's time to head back down to the streets and ground below. You leave the city with a lost smell of food as you inhale the smoke of big factories. Goodbye, city, you say. Dolphins, a majestic, beautiful creature that roams the sea with their smooth, sleek skin. They have a great attitude and love to talk and sing. They jump along your boat and swim as fast as any fish in the sea. They're a lovable creature that will play with all people. What, I see them smiling and waving to me whenever they're near. Dolphins are the coolest creature in the entire sea. Slam. Child whines, not wanting sleep. Mother hopes her endless tears will sleep. Laying the child down in peace, mother seems to to a quiet. The child's door sh shuts with a bang. Not a sound more is made. The glowing light flickers out afraid of the darkness closing in. Though not even a whisper aloud, her innocent fear screams inside. There is not a place to hide from the shadows closing in. A cry tears through the dark, but not a single soul will hear, for the whipper won't reach an ear in the fear closing in. A toddler's imagination runs wild. Thoughts of ghosts and eerie creatures grabbing out their haunting arms to reach her into the dark embrace closing in. Slam. The wind held frostbite in its icy hand, throwing icy pain at me in mockery. I screamed into the cold air, as if trying to scream the pain away, but 
more icy air fills my lungs. The ground, covered in bed sheets of ice, pulling my feet backwards and forwards. It's as if I'm some sort of toy to be played with. I sit and I cry, but my icy tears freeze to my face. I tell myself, one more step, but everything tells me to give up. I push my near frozen leg forward, raising my knee, moving joints into place, jutting it forward. I think to myself, move, but even my brain seems frozen in place. I can't do it. I can't do it anymore. Tingling sensation throughout my body. Heat, it feels good. It feels wonderful. Dark, so dark. Light, so light. Life, life I love. Breath, breath so wonderful. Life, life that I need to keep living. Life that I can't lose now. Life that I need to show them. Life, life, breath, life that I took for granted. Life, life that is different now. Life, breath, I'll live. It's not you, it's me. Actually, it's the thought of you and me. Release the balloons from around my neck and force me down. I'm just a racehorse on the track. Send me back from where I came. You always thought I'd float away and never come back, but I'll be fine on my own because you know me. I like being all alone. These people are all so boring and the kids are snoring. My ego's in a sling. You said you're not listening and I said I'm wishing. Play my song at my funeral. Say my pain is renewable. People ask me who I am, but I have no a answer. After all, I am untitled. Slam. It's called Neverland. I was banned from my homeland. I tried to sneak back into Neverland, so they gave me an armband and put me in Thailand. The food was a little bland. All I could do was stand. I, ha I found my way back into Neverland. I ha it is where I belong. I have to get back to Neverland. I have to be strong. I know it better than my left hand. My friend will let me, and his name is Mao Zedong. We will use a jazz band. It is a foolproof play along. Neverland is grand. Come along, you'll see. The ball is bumped, a perfect pass. The setter gets under the ball and executes a perfect back set to the right side hitter. The ball is not blocked. It goes right to the other team's hand. The little barrel on the other side tries to get to the ball, but it was an out-of-this-world pass. She doesn't reach the ball in time, and it hits the ground. Our team gets the point. We get super excited, and we're really pumped. We've just tied up the game 23-23. Slam. Hope is always there, even when you don't believe. Floating in the grass floating through the trees. Hope is such a wonderful thing, gliding through the mists, hopping through the branches. When it comes to my heart, it stops with the start, and it will rest there now until another cries. But with tears in its eyes, it will leave blue, blue skies in case of gray skies come to me tonight. Hope is always there when you don't believe, high above my house, way up in the trees. Why in a world of diversity are people judged by the outside? How come we're having so much adversity? Many people only see the, the downside. This is happening irreversibly. It's okay to be different even when the world says it's not. You should not have to pay or bring yourself down with gunshots. Please do not hide away or fly away. So right now, be happy in your own shoes, even if you're feeling the skew. Someday they'll all be singing the blues because they'll want to be you. 